first things first is that we're going to uh, change the sequence setting in Final Cut. So just click on the sequence that I titled. Uh, I'm going to go to some sequence settings. Then under video processing, I'm going to change this to render all YUV material in high precision. Uh, I'm going to click that one. And then I'm going to change this from white to super white. That's the first step. Click OK. I'm actually going to duplicate the sequence. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the footage down onto the timeline. So just drag and drop. I'm going to delete the audio because I don't want the audio. Then I'm basically just going to uh, copy this and paste this more times in the layers above. So that's one, two. Now we have three total uh, clips on top of each other. And uh, in the middle clip, we're actually going to add a few effects. We're going to add three-way color correction to the middle clip. Um, we're going to actually change this, bring the saturation down the whole way. Uh, then we're going to go to uh, channel, invert. We're going to put an invert filter on this as well. And then as far as blur, we're going to add a Gaussian blur uh, around the middle and we can actually change the Gaussian blur to about, let's say, 50 or 60. You can do more or less depending on the look you actually want to create. Um, I'm going to right click this for the composite mode, set it to overlay, and then as far as the top layer goes, we are going to add an S-curve from Magic Bullet. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a looks filter to the top layer. So, as far as looks goes, that should be in the uh, video filters tab right here on the side. It's going to be under Magic Bullet. It'll have its own little uh, category. Now, this is for users that have Magic Bullet looks installed. So, I'm going to drop it on the clip, double click the clip, click edit. For those of you who have Magic Bullet, you probably know how to use it. So we're going to go to Tools, then we're going to go to Curves. We're going to drop the curves on the Post section. And we're going to give this a little bit of an S-curve. So we're going to go up here a little bit. Let me just tweak this just very subtly, um, just to get that look. This isn't so much an S. I've experimented a little bit uh, in further detail about what actually looks good uh, using the S curves, and as far as this goes, this this is probably the best way of doing it. Not a complete S, but a little bit more of a like a peak right here by the blacks. Um, leaving the gamma space alone, so I click OK, and I'm going to right click this, and I'm going to click Overlay again, just like we did on the layer before. And see how the whites are kind of still washed out a little bit? So on this bottom layer, I'm going to turn down the opacity to about 80, 78. And you can see how there's a nice glow around the edges. I'm going to show you now a before and after look of the footage that I shot with a Canon 5D Mark II of one of my coworkers just walking down the street. So here you go. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial of how to get an HDR look in video. However, I can't express enough how subtle this look is. It's not true HDR, but it kind of gives that effect. I just want to express that one more time, that this is subtlety, not true HDR. So I hope you enjoyed it, and have fun doing it. <laughs>